Hello, I'm Kristen with the Rogers Public Library and this week for Quilled Creations we are going to be making a little 3D potted plant. So in your craft packet you will have four strips of brown, three strips of dark green, and two strips of light green. And I will show you how to make this. Now this project is going to be a little bit different than previous ones we've done, just because we are making it a little 3D thing all on its own, not just something that we glue down to paper. So we have four strips of brown and we are going to roll all four of them up into one big piece to make this pot. So we'll start by slipping our brown into that little slot on your quilling tool and rolling it all the way up. When we get to the end of this strip, we are going to put some glue on the tip of that strip and then press it down. And once that is secured, we're going to add some more glue on the outside and grab our second piece of brown. We'll secure that against the current ball there. And then once that's stuck on there pretty well, then we can continue rolling it up. And we'll just do that for each strip until we have all four strips rolled up to make a very large circle. Once we have our last one rolled up, we'll go ahead and seal it up. Put our glue on the end of the paper strip and secure it against the side of the rest. And this is going to be a very large piece, much larger than we've ever done before. And then once that is secure, we can take our quilling tool out and then we're just going to press gently on the center and press it down so that it makes a little 3D pot. So that is our pot for our potted plant. Now we'll take one of our green, light green strips. I'm gonna roll this up into a circle. Once that is all rolled up, we'll go ahead and seal it up again while it is on the tool. Then we can remove our quilling tool. And then we're going to use our quilling tool to push the center of this one up. And this is going to be the center of our plant. Now, when we are gluing pieces together, if you have tacky glue, that would be the best option to give it more strength. But if you don't, then whatever glue you have will be okay. So we are going to add some tacky glue along the bottom, the fattest part of our plant center, and then we're going to stick it into the center of our pot. So that's the center of our little plant. For the rest of 
our pieces, we are going to just cut each strip in half. And then we'll roll each half up into a circle. And we can let it go. And then I'm gonna tighten mine up just a little. And then we'll seal it up. And then we're going to pinch it into a teardrop shape and then pinch the opposite end so that we get a little marquee or eyeball shape. And these will be the leaves of our plant. So for the rest of your dark green and your light green, we're just going to cut each strip in half and roll up our pieces into circles seal them up and then pinch them into these little marquee shapes so we'll do that for everything else once we have all of our leaves ready then we can take one of our light green leaves and again this will work best with tacky glue but if you don't have it that's okay i am going to put some glue on one point of the marquee and then a little bit at the bottom so that I can attach it both to the pot and to the center of the plant so that it sticks out about halfway off the edge of the pot. Then I'll take my other light green, do the same thing. I'll put it directly across from my other light green. Now, if you want to do the leaves in a different order, that is perfectly fine. It is your plant, so you can make it look different than mine if you'd like. But I am going to put three dark green on either side of my light green. And for each one, I'll just attach them the same way with a little bit of glue along one point and a little dot on the bottom of the leaf. And I'm going to work my way around to try and help balance the plant so it's not falling over all the time. Now this will be pretty fragile until it dries. Once it dries, you should be able to move it around a little more and be okay. Just be real careful until it's all dry. And that is our little 3D potted plant. Thank you so much for joining me for Quilt Creations. I would love to see pictures of your little potted plants, either in the comments or when you come to the library, you could show me in person. Either way, I would love to see them. And I will see you next week to make another quilt creation. Bye.